Welcome back to Shantae, friends to the end. Where are we, another memory? Looks like it. I came here with Shantae to find the missing maidens. See, that's me over there. Hey guy, looking good. This is awesome. What am I saying, something heroic? <laughs> You're always leaving me out. I'm sick of barfing in your shadow. I should be the hero. Wah! I like how this is how she remembers it. He's just whiny and crying. Barfing in your shadow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let's go. If we follow this memory, it will lead us to the next piece of the puzzle. We're off to the next piece of the puzzle. I think Bolo's less motivated. Bolo's, yeah, he's, he's kind of... Um... What, what's the word? T is he tilted? Oops. Or just, um... Demotivated. Is that what you said? Demotivated? Uh... Wow, I don't even remember what I said. But, uh, no, tilted's a good word. He's just... I think he's lost his fighting spirit. He's lost his fighting spirit. Wow, they exploded in the bones. Everything explodes. If it doesn't explode, it just... They just go flying off screen. Okay, well, the, the slime gals don't do anything. They just kind of... Kind of evaporate. <laughs> Look how awesome these birds are. They're pretty overpowered. Birds are MVP. Shy birds for Smash. <laughs> I wouldn't mind Sky for Smash. I feel like I could, I could just say that about all, all the characters. <laughs> no, not Uncle Mimic. Oh, I mean all of like the, the cool ones, like Sky. Why did I just grab all those gems with her? Like all <laughs> of like the, like Sky, Roddy Tops, Bolo. Shantae, obviously. I would like human Roddy Top, though. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but... She could be an alt skin. <laughs> that, her zombie moves would not make sense. Wait, she can't have head throw? <laughs> That's a good move. Do you think she'll pick up her head, though? You know what doesn't make sense? Uh, what's that? Her head throw. Like, there's a lot about this that doesn't make sense. First of all, why is her head unaffected by the, the, um, like, the, the rays? Why can't I throw an egg right immediately after ducking? <laughs> oh no, we're losing all our levels. So, like, her, so her body is hurt by, like, these rays and stuff, but, like, her head isn't if she throws it separately? Like, how does oh, that make any sense? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it doesn't have any, uh... It doesn't take any damage. Yeah, that is interesting, actually. And not only that, but how does she end up picking up her head? Like, you see the skeleton hands... ...drop down and grab her body... ...and then they- and then her... ...body appears... ...under her head. What's up with that? And I guess just some sort of dark <laughs> magic. And just somehow connects. Do zombies use the dark magic? Is this canon? I mean, she was the one that was holding the dark shard that was using dark magic. How the heck do I get up there? So I guess she uses dark magic. Wait, what the heck do I do here? I don't remember this. Mm, I don't think it's where you go, but we can keep... I'm pretty yeah, sure maybe. I'm supposed to do something like this. Jump up, jump up. There we go. Okay, let me just take two. What? Take a Kit Kat bar. I need a Kit Kat break. <laughs> I don't even like Kit Kats. Uh, I don't like their commercials. <laughs> I hate, like, who thought people would want to listen to people chewing? That's like the worst sound. <laughs> uh, oh. oh, that's how you do it. Yeah, we've had that conversation before. It's like making gross noises like that or just it's counterproductive to selling your product. Yeah. Did they stop doing those commercials? Nope. They're still doing Kit Kat Crunch. Actually, you know what? The only Kit Kat commercials I've seen, dude, 
I think we've had this conversation too is I don't have cable or satellite TV I just watch like stuff like Hulu Netflix and YouTube and that's pretty much it like I'm I, I see very limited commercials I can't remember the last time I saw a Kit Kat commercial yeah I don't watch cable really no. so it's I don't a know dying, what's still it's a, airing it's dying a dying format. specimen they're killing it off themselves with all the commercials <laughs> yeah. there's too many <laughs> it's like it a funny? freaking commercial box it, isn't it funny that people don't like ads? It's just, I don't know if it's like human nature, but it's just like you're wasting my time when you're showing me ads. I don't think it's ads per se, as much as how it's presented. I what think they could do a much better job at making commercials. When you say that, you mean like commercials like be fun and entertaining or? You can make a you can make an ad entertaining and fun like some YouTubers do it like they'll make you know like they'll get a sponsorship and instead of being all you know this is the best thing in the world and you should buy it or your life will be ruined probably <laughs> they just make a joke out of it and it's funny hey. and it's like this is cool I could I could just watch this and not feel annoyed. I think the the main point of that is uh, it, commercials need to start being real and stop being rehearsed. It's like cause yeah, we're, like we're, real talk commercials. Yeah, and it's like stop having your your whoever you're paying to do your commercial stop having them say specific things and certain things in a certain way because that's when it gets too fake and you just don't care. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess that's the thing, because you know it. Oh, hey, it's Bolo. Oh, he just got fish-faced. <laughs> See ya, <you>, Bolo. <laughs> See ya later. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of the, the thing about commercials, is you know everything they're saying is BS. Bolo? Yeah, no, it's always fake. I mean, most <laughs> commercials. I don't, I don't want to call out no, every I, single ad. I would say ad. majority. No, I would yeah, say the majority, majority, definitely. No, actually, I do want to say all. Screw it. I do want to say all. Especially those car commercials. Did you know that there's not the car in every single car commercial is not the actual car itself? Um, I mean, I could believe that. It, no, it's true. It's like they have this black looking dune buggy type thing for every single car commercial. And then the actual car just gets photoshopped onto it for whatever car they're doing. And it's just like a thing that they do. I don't know why. So it's like all those cool turns and sharp turns and sharp drifting that you see in the commercial. Yeah, it's all fake. It's all green. Well, screen. I mean, it is the best time to buy a car. It is President's Day after all, or it is the Fourth <laughs> of July, or it is you know Tuesday. It's the best time to buy a car. Tuesday. <laughs> they say Tuesday. that in every com commercial. It's time. Now is the time to buy a new car. Yeah, you have you, uh, you know, I don't mean to down talk people, but I guess I'm going to anyways. But, uh, you know, I don't understand people in this obsession with like leasing cars and like I need a new car every two to three years. And it's just like, why? Like, I literally had my first car since high school for about 11 years until I got my second car. And it's just like, you don't really need to upgrade every two to three years. I don't understand people that do that. Yeah, I yeah. think my car's like 20 years old. See, but I mean, that's good. Like, your car's paid off, I'm assuming, because it's like 20 years. I don't think there's a loan for that long, but it's just like... I, I, well, I mean, I haven't owned it that long. It's just that's how old it is. I mean, I. Oh. it's been a long time, though. Yeah, like, you don't need to upgrade every three years. I don't understand people in that obsession. It's like, pay off your car. Or, well, first off, buy a car. Then pay off your car, and then you'll have it for a while. Let it pay for itself again, and then you can upgrade you don't need to upgrade to the latest thing. I mean, if... I don't know. I, I, people can do that if they want to. If they have the money, and that's what they like to do, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's just it's not smart. I mean... Cars don't really change that much from year to year. It's not until you start getting to about five, seven years. I don't know. I think we all kind of do not smart things with our money. I mean, I keep upgrading my computer even though I don't have to. <laughs> I don't, uh, 
I mean, I guess I don't know that much about tech, but as I understand tech, it changes from year to year. Like, maybe even within the year, but cars technically don't. Uh, I guess I see what you're saying. Like, uh, there's like a real world improvement to upgrading a computer versus a car. Yeah. Maybe they just like the new car smell all the time. <laughs> That's why I gotta buy a new car. <laughs> 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 that's an expensive not a hobby I don't know what you'd call it but that's expensive an expensive uh necessity <laughs> yeah. what's up save guy that save guy it's time for this I feel like they made this harder this particular section is harder than the uh the, the, the slide shoot on the main game. I feel like it would just be harder playing as these three. Uh, well, you don't have to switch between them. You can just choose one and go with it. Take that, King K. Rule. King K. Rule. Mini. <laughs> Think you're the, 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 the gators must be uh, Techno Baron grunts, right? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Because they're all gators. They're all techno gators. <laughs> Who came the up with a, a techno gator? Mm, I have no idea. Can I, can I get a techno gator figure to put on my desk? Oh, uh, you Is can get thing? an amiibo. An amiibo? A techno gator amiibo? <laughs> For I'm gonna the put them in Smash game. first. <laughs> <laughs> or, no, they're just gonna put them in Mario Party. Mario Party, yeah, all the Shantae characters for Mario Party. Party. Forget Smash Bros. Dude, that would honestly be cool. Honestly. I don't even like Mario Party. Um, I don't like Mario Party as it stands. I've always enjoyed the mini games and playing with friends, but it's just like, dude, we need it online. Look, there's Bello number two. Huh? Why is he looking all dizzy and knocked out? <laughs> oh, that. I got clobbered defending Shante from about a hundred mermaids. I fought them <laughs> off bravely, but then they saw my powerful muscles and realized what a saucy fellow I was. Saucy. Not this again. Literally throwing themselves at me like starstruck. Please stop talking. She's pissed, dude. <laughs> Some genuine anger. I guess I can't ship Bolo and Ronnie Tongue. Yeah, not right now anyway. <laughs> maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> maybe this is the the feud before the, the before love. the romance. You know how the lovers pick on each other sometimes before they get together. Mm. Yeah. And that's the reason, and not that he just got hit in the head <laughs> with a with a, uh, a a barrel after coming out of one. I think. <laughs> Tell it to your buddy here. Hey, wait up! <laughs> he just walks by him. I thought Bolo was gonna be the boss for a second there. Bolo the boss? That would be <laughs> Bolo a twist. Bolo the boss. <laughs> Techno Baron. Arg. However, did you get past my Techno Grunts? Only a, the Guardian Genie Run should have been able to reach the top of my mermaid factory. So he recognizes us right away, whereas Risky Boots didn't. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the premise is. I'm not sure why we're changing Shante's memories around. Like this is weird. Yeah, I think it's left a little bit unexplained. There's no way three unmagical misfits like you could make it. There's there's a title they could have called it. <laughs> Wrong, Gator Face. My zombie moves save the day. Sure, kind of, but it was my mad bolo ball skills that tipped the bolo skills in ball. our favor. Bolo ball? I guess that's what it's, it is. It's a bolo ball. I'll be calling it that from now on. I mean, can I grab a weapon and call it like a Stuko weapon? Like, is, is that how things work? That's how things work. <laughs> People name their weapons, right? That's a thing that happens. <laughs> After themselves, too? <laughs> well, sure. My years of studying and training warbirds saved my skin, and I didn't even break a sweat. Oh my gosh, Sky for Skyward Sword. 
Um, it's a little late for that. <laughs> Skyward Sword 2. Oh, okay. Oh dear, <laughs> how utterly disgusting. You three are even more conceited than I am. <laughs> what? No matter. I happen to know a queen-sized buoyant beauty who's big enough to cut down those swollen egos of yours down to size. I read that as eggs. Eggs? <laughs> the swollen eggs. He's gonna eggs. cut her eggs down to size. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Who cares? Quick, Bolo. You were there. How do we beat this next opponent? Lay out the juicy strat. Alright. Let's see. There was a mermaid. A big green one. A giga mermaid. She was wearing seashells. And... She had long hair, but some of it was tied up in hair buns. Or jellyfish. Hard to tell. Hmm. Ugh, Bolo. Can't you remember anything besides what she looked like? <laughs> well, there she is. I mean, now you don't gotta... ...describe it. With jellyfish buns. Yeah, they, they are jellyfish buns. Good thing they pointed it out. So, I don't know, it might be best to switch between, uh... Bolo and Roddy Tops here, because Roddy Tops, at max level, does have, the, like, the best, kind of... DSP... DSP... DPS here. DSP. But I've, I've lost my gems. <laughs> so I'm like way slow. I think she gets like a big boost at max level to her, her attack speed. Uh, oh, at level 4. Makes sense. Yeah, because that's, that's why I want to keep her at level 4. I don't wanna, want her to get hit. 7-7-7! Seven, seven, seven. Uh... Giant electric ball. Jelly ball? That's a giant electric jelly ball. <laughs> well, I just meant like a jellyfish ball. Huh. Oh well. I was gonna be totally cool and, and make my way across the top, but uh... Didn't work. Wow, that was way faster and risky. Yeah, normally in this fight, I would just take the hit for... Like, time's sake. But uh, health is like super... Scarce in this mode, so... Just trying to be careful. Oh no, she's still mad! There's no dialogue at this time. Like there was, uh... In the other versions. <laughs> I get hit- oh my goodness, I better eat a brain. Um... So this is like the only real way to... Take her out. Cause uh I am I'm not jumping up those. Plus it does like a whole bunch of damage. Look at that. Five for every hit. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> it's more than two. It is more than two. No, she's done. That's like the easiest that's the easiest a boss fight gets in this mode. You just bolo ball the whole thing. So you managed to conquer another memory, did you? Wait, what? he knows it's a memory? Huh. You're no closer to saving your friend than you were before. He didn't get the boot this time. You just walked away. What a creep. <laughs> yeah, but... Techno Baron kinda had a point, didn't he? Maybe it's time we set aside our differences and tried working as a team. Wow. My teamwork is fine. Yours stinks. There's no, <laughs> I, there's no I in team, Roddy. <laughs> Yours stinks. Mine is great. Uh. Never mind. Now after Shante freed the mermaids, where did she go next? For some reason... I can't remember a thing. What? Yeah, me neither. What gives? Oh, I know why. It's because while Shante was fighting the mermaid, both of you had lost your memories, remember? What? No. What? <laughs> yeah, remember? <laughs> Sky had amnesia, and we went to the desert and just left her there. Hmm. Nuh. -uh. <laughs> well, I was there, and I remember every detail. We just need to make sure things happen exactly as they did before. Leave everything to me. 
I'm gonna leave everything to Roddy Tops. Who's worried? Come on, you two have a lot of work to do. All right. Back to Cool Pose. Yes. Tr tr trio. <laughs> Big Hero Pose. Big Hero Pose. Oh no, please don't remember her. <laughs> well, we're gonna. We're gonna remember a rememberable, or I guess memorable, somebody on the next part. Yes. And take on Tassel Town uh, next time.